Pakistan has blessed with immense hydropower potential, however untapped hydropower potential largely lies in the mountainous north along the Indus River. According to WAPTA studies, Indus Basin have more than 40,000 megawatts potential, and implementation on some projects have recently been commenced. With a capacity of 7,100 megawatts, the proposed Bungie hydropower project would be the largest of its kind in Pakistan and located on Indus River, upstream of Diamar Basha Dam. The project site is located on the Indus River about 83 km from Gilgit and 610 km from Islamabad. The project was designed to utilize 46-kilometer loop of Indus River through 8 km headrace tunnels. For preparation of feasibility, detailed engineering design and tender documents, WAPTA had selected the BCJV, a joint venture of national and international renowned engineering firms, Mott MacDonald from UK as leading firm, Sagria from France, Nippon Koei from Japan, MM Pakistan, and development management consultants from Pakistan. The consultants has completed the report and submitted to WAPTA, in which project generation capacity has been uplifted from 5,400 megawatts to 7,100 megawatts. The main components of the project involved a 200 meters high RCC gravity dam, five headrace tunnels, two diversion tunnels, 10 pressure shafts, a giant underground powerhouse with 20 Francis turbines, transformer hull, 800 kV gas insulated switchgear, five tailrace tunnels leading a deep open channel, and an advanced bungee access tunnel. The dam site is located in the narrow gorge about 44 km from Alam Bridge, near the confluence of the Indus and Gilgit rivers. 200 meters high roller compacted concrete gravity dam has six centrally located gated spillways for passing the annual and extreme floods of more than 22,000 cubic meter per second. To flush the sediments, mid and low level sluice gates has been designed. The impounding of the dam will create 22 kilometer long reservoir with 252 million cubic meter capacity. About 12 km existing Gilgit Skarda Road will be required to realign, which would be inundated by the reservoir. The power intake structure is located on the left bank, upstream of the dam, equipped with 6 meters wide and 10 meters high five roller gates, stop logs, trash racks and access shaft arrangement. 8 km long, 5 headrace tunnels have been designed to divert the design discharge of 1,900 cubic meter per second. The 11.6 meter diameter tunnels will be constructed using drill and blast techniques supported with rock bolts and shotcrete. In poor ground conditions the support will be enhanced. The tunnel diameter will reduce to 9 meter in the fault zone. It is anticipated that difficult tunneling conditions will be encountered in the fault zone due to high in situ stresses. The underground powerhouse complex is located approximately 80 meters downstream of the dam, in the rock mass downstream of the confluence of the Indus and Gilgit rivers. The powerhouse complex is approximately 400 meter below the surface on the left side of the river. The powerhouse complex is made up of three caverns, the machine hull, transformer cavern and the draft tube gate access gallery. The finished machine hull cavern is 560 meters long, 28 meters wide and 51 meters high, and contains 20 Francis turbines, generators and ancillary equipment, as well as two control and services buildings. Flow from each headrace tunnel supplies four turbines. The transformer cavern is located 32 meter downstream of and parallel to the powerhouse, with the floor of the gallery at the same level as the assembly bay. The cavern is 560 meter long and 18 meter wide. The cavern will house the 60 single phase transformers that will be in use, as well as four spare transformers. Power is then transmitted via high voltage gas insulated lines to two surface line terminal yards. After feeding the turbines, the water will discharge into the Indus River through five tailrace tunnels, leading to an open channel. The twin diversion tunnels, each having more than one kilometer length on the right bank, has been designed with upstream and downstream coffer dam arrangement. The tunnels are 10 meters wide and 10 meters high, with diversion capacity of 7,000 cubic meter of water per second. In order to accelerate the headrace tunnel's progress, an advanced traffic tunnel namely Bungie Access Tunnel is designed parallel to five headrace tunnels. The 8-kilometer long tunnel will provide access to multiple work faces for headrace tunnel construction via five working edits and detail knowledge of ground conditions in advance. After construction of the project, the tunnel would be transformed for use of public transportation in addition to the operation and maintenance purposes for the project.
During detailed investigation stage, more than 10,000 of boreholes had been drilled up to 450 meters deep, including in Overburden and an Indus River, by the experienced drilling wing of WAPTA. Six exploratory adits at dam axis and powerhouse area was constructed to determine the ground conditions. Numerous in situ and lab tests were conducted, a comprehensive physical model of the project and various detailed partial models had been constructed on one ratio 80 geometrical scale by the WAPTA model studies cell at hydraulic research station, Nandapur. These models were tested on different scenarios to confirm the final design. The detailed geological information is inevitable for designing such mega projects. To acquire geological information in the difficult terrain and inaccessible vertical slopes of dam site, the relevant designers sit together with field geologists and came with the idea that local geologists will perform the climbing scan line discontinuity survey. The experienced team of Pakistani geologists performed a challenging assignment and became pioneer in the field of geotechnical engineering by performing a unique job climbing scan line discontinuity survey in hanging ropes at inaccessible vertical slopes of dam site. The geologist while accepting the challenge of the task, suggested to engage local expert climbers from northern areas to train the participants. A local climbing company was contacted for this job, and they showed their willingness for providing the training to the geologists and supervision services. Approval from authorities, necessary preparation and training were started in 2009. The assignment had been completed successfully ahead of the schedule. The project completion period is nine years after the date of commencement and will provide 24,760 gigawatts hour cheap energy annually. The project cost was updated to the rates of year 2017 amounting to 1,529,292 rupees excluding transmission line cost. The authorities are aiming for the inclusion of this mega project in China-Pakistan economic corridor portfolio. In last quarter of 2019, the government of Pakistan had offered China for the inclusion of mega projects including Bungie Hydro Power Project which would be followed by other projects on the Indus Cascade. <laughs> जो विजिट है उसके अंदर हम एक बहुत बड़े कई प्रोजेक्ट्स लेके जा रहे हैं जिसके ऊपर हम निगोसिएशंस शुरू करेंगे उसमें एक प्रोजेक्ट बुंजी डैम का है जो 7000 मेगावाट बिजली पैदा करने की जिसकी सलाहियत है इसके आने से जो हमारा एनर्जी मिक्स है उसकी जो क्योंकि इसमें हमारा इंपोर्ट नहीं होगा ना डीजल ना इसमें इंपोर्टेड कोल ये इंडिज हमारा हाइड्रल से बनेगा तो ओवर टाइम ये सबसे सस्ती बिजली होती है हाइड्रल की गोइंग फॉरवर्ड तो इससे हमारा एक तो जरूरत भी पूरी होगी ग्रोइंग इकॉनमी की और इसकी कीमत भी कम होगी थैंक्स व्यूअर्स फॉर वाचिंग थम्स अप इफ यू लाइक राइट अस योर सजेशंस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर एक्साइटिंग वीडियोस